קהל קדוש, בוקר אור, דף יומי, מסכת בבטרה, דף צדיק ח' עמוד א', 98A1. We're going to start on the 97B in the Mishnah. המוכר יין לחברו והחמיץ. Imagine right now you're going to sell wine to your friend and then it became homets. אין לו חייב באחריותו, you're not obligated, right? Why? Because at the time of the מחידה זה היה יין. If at the time of the sale it was wine, גמרנו. ואם ידוע שאינו מחליץ, but if he already knows that it's going to become homets, which means that it's already starting to become homets, Like every single year, that is considered a mistake. Yeah, he says, right, it's already a mistake. But if he told him, right, So he says, I'm selling you, I'm selling you, right? So then what? He's obligated to come and to put it until... Remember that in the olden days, they used to use the wine for uh, besamim, because they used to put it on the floor. You remember in the, in the, on Hilchot Shabbat, they speak about it, right? The entire concept. That means basically in the olden days, they used to put it on the floor. It's called ziluf, right? And they used to use wine. Yeah. And that was basically, it's that way it doesn't go up all the dust and all those things. But it was also for bosim. It was a natural bosim. Nowadays, they come and they put it in the AC. But in the olden days, they put it on the floor. And that gave the good bosim to the entire house. Yashan, now if he's going to come and he's going to tell him I'm selling you Yain Yashan, from Shana Shavra, which means that it was done one year ago, right? So he says, which means that that's what it's going to be one year ago. When he says Miyushan, it's even going to be Mishel Shalosh Shanim. Meaning there's going to be a difference between Yain Yashan and Yain Miyushan. Yesh Anashim Shem Yashan Noshan. Yesh Anashim Shem Yushanim. Miyushan. Zeh Kvar Shalosh Shanim. Zeh Loh Stam Shana Shavra. Amin? Says the what are we dealing with? We're talking about that who belongs the kankanim, the jugs, to the lokeach. But if the kankanim they belong to the mocher, to the seller, this is your yain and this is your kankanim. Which means the begam is either in the wine or in your kelim. And therefore it's on you. Meaning only because it belonged to me, meaning I had the kankanim, and they put the wine in my kankanim, it's mine. And therefore, whatever happens to the wine, I was like, well, let's say it's yours. And you sold me the wine, and it's your kankanim. And then I have to give it back to you. I come and I tell you, Bechavot, take back your kankanim and take back your wine. Why? So says the Gimara, kankanim What do I care if it belongs to him? At the end of the day, you should say, you shouldn't have left it in the, in the kelim. I gave you the kelim, but now empty it. Put it somewhere else. So let's see how are we dealing with the amale that he told on the mikpah. The mikpah is to use it as bishulim. You remember we said that whenever you're going to use it for tavshilim, it's going to last longer. Meaning whenever people drink wine, blainara, people, they drink wine and they, they just continue going until they're a chetzi kazev, as yom achar kach atar kvar roetze, right? But whenever it's tavshilim, it takes much longer to get rid of, right? So that's why it's going to be like that, okay? So what happens now is he says like this. He says, says the Gemara, right? We're talking about the Mikpah. What is the Mikpah? You're going to use it for Bishulim and therefore you're going to leave it for a long time. Why are we saying that the Kankanim, they belong to the purchaser? And that he said that he's going to keep it for a long time because he's using it for Bishul. Why didn't you just say it's Kankanim the Mokhet? And he didn't say it was going to be the Mikpah. And therefore, since he didn't say it, he didn't say it. So says the Gemara, and Rav Rav says, Matitin Kachite, he had a question from the Mishnah. Tektani miyadua sheyeno machmitz, hareze mekach ta'ut. He says, if it's known that the yain becomes chometz, so if it's going to become a mekach ta'ut, am I why? Leim alei, you should say, lo yibale chal eshuye. He says, you shouldn't have left it there for such a long time. El alav shema mina, but rather it comes to teach you, damale le mikpah, that he told him the mikpah. So shema mina, we learn from here, this is a raya, that the basis of Rabbi Yisrael Hanina is, is that really Be'emet or Mishnah is talking about that yain that he bought it from Bishul, which is the mikpah. And therefore, the tour of the mocher from Akhrayut is only if it's going to be be kankanim shel alokiach. Because if it's not going to be kankanim shel alokiach, Be'emet, he takes it back with Ve'zehu, who pliga and it is argues on Rebukhiya Barab Yosef. Ta'ama Rebukhiya Barab Yosef, chamra mazala demare garim. The kilkul of the yain is nigram because of the mazal of the owners. Meaning, it depends on your mazal. When you buy a bottle of wine and it becomes chometz, it's your mazal. No, no, that was something else. That's if you, you don't know when it became chometz. That's mashu right? You don't know when it comes. No, 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 no. One minute. So he says, 
שנאמר בזה סזן פסוק, ואף כי היין בוגד גבר יהיר. What does that mean? Why is the, 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 the יין בוגד ומחמיץ? Because of an אדם יהיר. Meaning, if a person becomes hardy, right? גבתן, if he's hardy, that's when it becomes bad. So Amar of Manimani Man, says, Haimayim di Yahid, Afilu ha'in shebete lo mikabel. Somebody that's haughty, he's not even accepted even in his own house. Nobody. Right? Shalem Abba says the Vasuk, Kevin Yahid lo yinve. Ma'il lo yinve? Benave shelo. Nave, nevat bayit is your wife. Nave is in your house. Right? So that's why. Amar of Yudam Arab, says of Yudam Arab, kolo mitgae. Anybody that's going to be mitgae betalit shel tamih chacham, ve'en o tamih chacham. He is misachek ota, kilu is a tamih chacham. And really, Bemet, He's not a man at Amicham. En mach nisin otom nixid otom shel... Well, I'm not talking about it. He says, En mach nisin otom mechitzot shel Kadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will not bring him into the mechitzah. Vivrach HaBaz, it says, Velo yimve, uchtivhat amenetzad over there, El neve kodshecha. What does that mean? The neve is the maono of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if a person is mesachek otad, he's a tamir chacham, and he's not, they're going to put a good mechitzah. Yeah? A proper mechitzah. Now let's look. Amar Rava. אמר רב, רב קמז נאו אני סס. היימן דזבי לחביתא דחברה לחנבה. Somebody that's going to come and sell a chavit yain to a chenveni. So he's selling a barrel of wine to the storekeeper. הדייתא לסבוי in order that he should sell it little by little. ותקיף הפלגה הוטלתא and it became bad after the half or after the third of the bottle, right, of the barrel. So דין אודו מקבל למיני. So the דין is, the בעל היין has to give it back. And he's got an אחריות. Imagine, you've got the store. So I give you the barrel to sell it in the store, right? Now you're selling it little by little, right? You come and they take out the barrel. Huh? So if it comes bad after the half or whatever it is, that's it. What is this? Right? If you do not put a beres, which means that that's where it take out, takes out the wine. But if right now the balayayin is not going to mafsid, the chenveni has to pay the wine. Why? Because we're going to say that it became nechmatz biglala shinui that he put a beres. Meaning, if right now he added a, a beres, he added like a spout on the bottom, that's what made it into the thing. And that's only if it didn't get the day of the shuk. But once it became the day of the shuk, right, he does the, he's chayav ba'aliyayin lekabel ezeh b'chazara, ki achem v'ni pasha, that he didn't sell it on the day of the shuk. And he should have sold everything, and he didn't. So that's why. Amar Rav, and Rav says, Ma'am de, I'm on the kabil. Yes. I'm on the kabil chamra. If you're going to accept the wine, and then he's meet, he gives a tenai. What's a tenai? That he's going to bring it to the normal, and then that's where he's going to sell it for a very high price. And then all of a sudden he got there and it went down on the price. But the din is, the balayayin has to get, get himself that said. Why? Because that was the achrayut, meaning it was a condition. I told you, I'm going to go to this place, I'm going to sell for, for yakar. And then afterwards it went down in price. So it's, it's on you, kid. He buy lehu, so they're gonna ask question. Have a chalamai. What happens if it became uh, vinegar? So Amar le Rav Yila le Ravashi says Rav Yila to Ravashi. Yavam berekana when we were in berekana, Malani told us chala lo. No, if it became vinegar, no. And not like Rav Zeb Chanina. He kadam and Rav Zeb say no, 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 no. Afilu cham nami mekabel. He's also gonna command like Rav Zeb Chanina. So basically, there's gonna be a machloket. Do we say that he's going to uh, to be mafsi or not? Because since the yain is shayach to both of them kilu, so it's a mazal of both of them. Because Kilu, it's like, it's going to be both of ours until you actually sell it at the higher price. So it's Kilu Sheikh Lishnenu. Ve'az amazal shel shnenu garam. O ata omer lo. Fine. Two dots. Yain mishel eshtakad. Yain shel shana shavra. Says the Gimara Tzadichet Amu Be'et. Tana, we learned. Yashen ve'olech ad ha'chag. Which means that you could give him Yain Yushan from two years ago until the Chag. Right? Until the third year. Until the Chag of Sukkot without going to Chometz. But if it's going to be Chometz before the Chag, you have the Chayu. Says the Mishnan Tzadichet Amu Be'et. Mishnah. If you're going to sell a place to your friend in order to build a house, right? the same thing, or a house for your son. They used to make like little houses for their children right beside them. Remember that the boys used to stay by you. Now it's the opposite usually. And a bet al menu for the daughter because after the husband dies, right? So what happens is, yeah, what is, it? What is he going to do? He's going to build a house of four amot by shesh amot. All right, why? Because that's basically going to be, right, the minimum of a midot of a house. These are the words of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Shemel Omer, Rebbe Bakar, he says, why? You're going to build that, you know what Arba Amot is? Two, it's, it's two meters, by right? 1.92 meters, by six Amot. So it's uh, by uh, by three meters. You know what I'm saying? Zekrum. What's going on exactly? Yeah, so he says, that's like a Rebbe Bakar, that's like a barn. 
So I don't say that's over Rekab, but no matter about Motor Shesh. So fine. Bait Katan, so he comes and he says, if he tells him he's going to sm- build a small house, it's Shesh al Shmone, six by eight. Again, Amot, we're talking about. So each Amai is half a meter. Okay? So six by eight. So he says, Gadol Shmone al Eset, eight by ten. Traklin, if he's going to build a big Traklin, it's going to be ten by ten. So these are, again, different w- rules of what is called a house, a small house, a big house. Everything was Katan. What do you want? That's the way the people lived. The height was half of the width and half of the length. Meaning, you take, let's say it's going to be uh, five by whatever it is, so six by eight. So half of six is three, and half of eight is four. So it's seven. Seven was the height. That's the, the gova, right? So the gova, the orech verochav. No, that's what we're saying, but that's a minimum height. Yeah, minimum height. Just like the echal was 40 yamot. How was the It was 20. So the gova was 30. 14, 20, 60. The Kova is 30. Okay. Says the Gemara, Why do we have to say that you built a bet chatnut libno and a bet al menut libito? Why do for the son it's a bet chatnut and for the daughter it's going to be bet al menut? Let's need bet chatnut libno bito or bet al menut libno bito. So it says the Gemara, Min ta agav agav orche kamashulan de lo darka de chatanah lemid bechumon. It's not normal that the chatan moves by the by the laws. The chatan he goes somewhere else. He goes to his parents, right? So that's what we're saying. So therefore, lefichah, that's what we say, betchetnu levno. We didn't say betchetnu libito. Kirichtiv besever ben Sira. Remember, there's a famous sefer by ben Sira. Ben Sira came and he said, Akol shakalti bekach mozdaim. I measured everything. Velo matzati kal misubin. I didn't see. It was something worse than subin. Ve kal misubin. And kal misubin. It's chatan adav vet chamiv. If the, chat, the chatan is living in the house of the father-in-law. Which means that you're not supposed to do that. Ve kalch me chatan oreach machnis oreach. And what's his worse? You don't know how many people do that nowadays. It's mamash a chutzpah. Right? You invite somebody and they bring a guest. And you're like, Aywa, oreach mevi oreach. But that's what it says here. Ze yoter garua meachatan dar bevet chamiv. Ve ze yoter garua misubin. From Bran. A chutzpah. Vada is a chutzpah. Ve kal me oreach me shiv davar veterem ishma. Are you telling me yoter garua? Shanashim monim dvarim? Lifne safiru shem shomim ma shem ma shomim. Anashim ovim le dover. Boom, Poltim Dvarim. Yeah. Shnemar, Meshiv Dvar Betere Mishma. Ivelet Hilo Uchlima. He's an Ivelet, he's a fool. It's embarrassment. Yeah, fine. Next. Two dots. Yeah, we're in the Mishnah. We learned the Mishnah Bishwan Omer, Reva Bakari. So he says, Whoa, four by six. It's a Reva Bakari, it's a barn. Harotela, so that's what you're supposed to do. Reva Bakaman Ktanila, who's the Jah? Ikadam will be Shman Ktanila. He says, Vikadam will be a Kiva Ktanila. Ikadam will be a Kiva Ktanila, and Achim will be a Kiva even though this is considered a fibaka, that means it's so small, it's like a barn. Some people do that. Some people say it's a bishmael, tanila, the hachi kaman. Sharotzela, sort of a bakar, or say alba al shesh. This is what you're supposed to do, four by six. Fine. Then we said if you're going to do a traklin, it's going to be ten by ten. My traklin, what's a traklin? Kubta bevarde. It's a kuba between the vardim, between the vradim. Right? What does that mean? It's made like a ken kuba shil zonot. So he says, and therefore you have like a beautiful flowers and all these things. So Tani Kantir Shtemesre Amot or Shtemesre. We just finished off by mentioning Traklin. No, Traklin? Yeah, yeah, no. Traklin was 10 by 10 in the Lizzie Mishnah. Now it's, now it's called Kantir. 12, 12 by 12, the Traklin. Traklin is considered like a Kubash el Zorot. That's what we're saying. Okay, because they come and they, they put them in a beautiful, well, the 10 by 10. No, now we no. have this one. Kantir now is the Chigadon. My Kantir, Tarbat Sapadne. It's a Chatser Gdullah of Armonot. Right? Of the big, uh, you know, of the Ramon. Of the Ramon. Rumo, we just said that the height is going to be like half of the width and half of the width, the, the length. Right? Right? Who teaches this? Right? 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 He says, what, everyone's doing like a echal? Saying, you're bringing a proof from the echal. So there's a question in the Gemara, is it like a proof or is it a question? Is it a bit mia or is it a raya? So to me, what is the raya? The echal. Or the question. What? Everyone does echal? That you have to do the gova, the half of the half of the half of the half? Okay. So Tanya, we're going to write the other ones. Who's the other ones? Rabbi Meir, Balanes. So, Achrim Omrim Rumo, Kikorotav. 
like the orech of the korot of the tikra, right? Of the rochav. So says the Gemara. So why would you say rumo kroch bodem? So says the Gemara. Ibaitei ma beita mila mila iravach. The house is mitrachev milmala, right? What does that mean? And during the times of the Tanaim, they used to be rechavim milmata and then tsarim lemala. It was like a hut type of thing, you know, like a tent. It was basically like this, and the more that it went up, the more that it enclosed. They didn't have the houses straight box. It wasn't boxes. It was like this going up. Okay, that's why you couldn't say like the rocha. Right? If you want to say, we should be ikre bekave because they had bet chalonot. They had the windows, so that's why they did it that way. Rabbi Chanin and Afik Kriyata, he went out to the Kfarim. Namu lekrae adadi. He has a contradiction between the psukim. Tiv et shutva ba'ida shabana melech shomol Hashem. Shishim emarkar over simul chbo. It was sixty amot by twenty. Who shishim emarkar over twenty? It was going to be thirty amot height. Before the half of the bet of being dashes, it was going to be 20 by 20 by 20. So, if it was only going to be 20 amot, it wasn't going to be 30 amot. Meaning, you just told me that the height was 30. Here it says that the height was 20. So, he says, What are we talking about? From the Sfata Kruvim Lamala is going to be, that means really, it was 30. But from the Kruvim upwards, it was only going to be 20. So, my Kamash Malan, what is it coming to teach you? My Kamash Malan comes to teach you. Right? The what? Lemata kilmala. The 10 amot, which is going to be on the bottom, was just like the, the top 20 amot. Ma lemala en meshamesh klum. There was nothing beneath it. So to lemata en meshamesh klum. Right? It was basically, it was always going to be wrecked. There was nothing there.